Long delays at Barcelona's main international airport as security workers checking carry-on luggage staged a partial walkout. They want better salaries and more staff and are planning to stop work intermittently over the next four days in an effort to progress negotiations. Yesterday uh, we were supposed to leave here to go to Toronto but we missed the, pl the flight and today I'm afraid that we are going to miss it again. Uh, everyone's been told to come about four hours ahead of time and like most people we got here four, four and a half hours early. If by August 14th the workers' demands go unheard, they'll strike indefinitely. That could mean even more chaos for passengers during peak summer holiday weekends, but it might not result in major disruption. Well, uh, th there is a, a condition within Spanish law that they cannot completely stop all, all flights. Some of the flights themselves could be completely uh, un, un, unhindered. Nevertheless, uh, th th this is a reputational issue, I think, for the, for the airports. Strikes aren't the only thing Spain's grappling with. Temperatures have soared to 40 degrees across large swathes of the country. In Barcelona, emergency service teams have been tasked with distributing water to the homeless and checking on the elderly, while holidaymakers have been warned to stay in the shade. Now we have seen during the course of this year uh, some movement in uh, food prices, for instance, uh, as a consequence of uh, unexpected weather conditions uh, in, in the southern part of the Mediterranean. Um, and that could come through uh, potentially again. Those remaining in Britain are likely to see temperatures half that of Spain, heat wave Lucifer, perhaps unlikely then to pour cold water on Brit's plans to holiday abroad.